Hey guys, it's Pamela. So I have thrown away all of my paints. All of them. And the reason I did that is because they all had different mixes in them. Excuse me, Cleo. Excuse me. And I had everything but the kitchen sink in there experimenting. I mean, they worked, but I think when you have different textures going on, everything doesn't flow together, uh, especially with a thicker mix. Uh, might be easier with a thinner mix, but um, I've used this, which I've used from day one. This reacts with the Min Wax <clears throat> polyurethane that I've used from day one. And when you mix them together, they get really, really thick. Um, and they work, that's fine. Um, I've also used the, oh shoot, Base 3 by Glidden. I used the Base 1 for my pillow. But, but, in the last video, I showed you this. Tear Gloss. High gloss. It looks. It doesn't have titanium in it. If it does, I don't. I don't think it does. Like the other bases that I just showed you do. So. Uh, so you you know you can mix pigment with it and whatnot. So I'm going to uh, just go with that. I've mixed. I've got a couple of colors here. I've mixed. For this Amsterdam paint, this is an or Azo orange, I believe, and it's semi-transparent, so it's a little has a little more girth to it than a transparent color would. A little bit more, but not as much as an opaque because it's semi-transparent. It'll mix with the varnish and everything and float to the top. So and that's what you want. So I took a third of the paint and two-thirds of my pouring medium with this color. This is Deco Arts Premium, which I don't know if they've discontinued this container or discontinued this premium line altogether, but they've been on sale for months, like my Michaels, so I don't know what they're doing. And I haven't been in a Michaels lately because of COVID, so. But this is the Ultramarine Blue. Um, I I think it probably says transparent on the on the bottle. I'm not gonna look at it again, but anyway, blues are usually transparent. So with this, I just needed one to one ratio because the paint is a little bit lighter in weight or thickness than this paint. So there you go. That kind of gives you a clue of what's going on with that. Uh, back to the pouring medium that I mixed with the paints. I'm not confusing anyone. Um, if you're familiar with the bloom, then you know what I'm talking about. I just put this in this jar, this container. This is two thirds of the high gloss that I just showed you earlier in the red and white can by Bear, and one third of varnish. Now, I'm using, like I showed you earlier, in the black and silver can. I'm still using the Minwax water-based polyurethane oil modified, which means they put some kind of, they put more oil in it than a regular varnish, I guess. Whatever reason, I'm not a woodworker, so I don't know why. But it's a fairly new product. It comes in satin and gloss and, um, satin and, it comes in like three. That's the clear gloss one. You can buy them in the little bitty pints too if you can find them at your Home Depot. Uh, these bases in the uh, Minwax polyurethane I found at Home Depot, so I'm not running back to Lowe's anymore. Simple but. Um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, for the pouring medium, again, I'm using two-thirds of that gloss and one-third of the varnish. The varnish, that's where, that's where I was at, <laughs> the varnish is, this is a bottle of varnish. I mixed, because I've got it, 
Joe Sonia, which is a little lighter, lighter weight consistency than the Minwax polyurethane. So I mix them half and half. You could use either just the Minwax or just the Joe Sonia. The Joe Sonia seems to be a little bit lighter, so I just want to use it up. But basically, that's my recipe and I'm sticking to it. Okay? Um, and here's the results that I just got. Now, this is a thick mix. This is what I like to do. I've already stretched it out. This is a thick mix. And this is with my base one uh, Glidden, I'm um, sorry, Glidden Premium Base One in white as the pillow mixed with GAC. So I'll put everything down below. And if you want to go with a thinner mix, guys, then you might want to add some, I don't know, I haven't tried it. You might want to add some polyacrylic with your varnish instead of just the varnishes I'm using because it's even thinner than the Joe Sonia. Uh, you could add some water. You could add, I've got some wetting agent and some retarder to kind of thin out colors. Um, I might just stay away from that and just use water. I don't know. I've used them both. They work, so. So there you go, guys. Right? No one can complain that my recipe is too long and intricate any longer. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, no one's complaining in months. I think you all just gave up, but that's my new recipe. Love ya! Okay guys, for colors today I used uh, DecoArt Premium and Ultramarine Blue, DecoArt Premium and Quinacridone Violet, uh, Amsterdam and um, Greenish Blue, Amsterdam and Prussian Blue, and a violet, a blue violet that I also mixed some uh, Violet, quinacridone violet or a, a hot pink with it to get more of a violet color. That's why it looks more violet in the bottle. And this is um, just some pigment from, who's this from? Just pigments, flash gold.